Welcome back to our Simplify IT with Intersight series. In this video, we're going to talk about maintaining software compliancy using the Intersight Hardware Compatibility List feature. One of the things that's very important throughout a deployment is maintaining compliancy across your hardware, your operating system, and your drivers. A major setback in the past is having to manually locate, download, and install those correct drivers for a specific hardware platform with a specific operating system. So with Cisco's new Intersight HCL feature, we're able to identify not only compliancy at a glance, but also get recommendations on remediating those compliancy issues. So let's start by taking a look at where the hardware compatibility feature is located and what options are available. If we go ahead and click here on servers, and then we just simply select a server, and here we have our hardware compatibility list. Now, some of the features that we're gonna see here is first of all, uh, our server hardware compliance. This checks the actual hardware. As you can see here, we've got our uh, 210C M6. It's gonna take a look at what software is installed, which here is VMware 7.022, and then what adapter information we have. Now, as you can see, I've got a 14425, and it does look like it is in compliance. It has been validated. Now, with that being said, what happens when the drivers are out of compliancy? The first thing you're going to notice in the HCL tab, it will clearly flag the driver and clearly identify where the issue is located. Now, with that being said, uh, what does that look like for us? Now, what happens when the drivers are out of compliancy? The first thing you're going to notice is that HCL tab. It will clearly flag that driver and clearly identify where the issue is located. Now what's really neat is we have the ability to click on get recommended drivers. Now what this is gonna do is this is gonna pull up our recommended driver or our recommendation engine. What it allows us to do is select the operating system, vendor and version, and then download this in a nice neat ISO package. Now in this example what we're seeing is essentially updating their full MLOM mezzanine cards with our current recommended drivers. So at this point, what we've done is we've downloaded that ISO, we've installed it on that new server, and now we are back to all green. Now that we've mitigated the compliance issues, everything inside the dashboard is all green, thus ensuring that the server's hardware, software, and operating system are in full compliance. 